What is gas and why should I care? Most transactions on the blockchain require computational power to be executed. Gas is the unit of measurement we use to describe the computational power needed to perform such transactions. Now, not all transactions on the blockchain are equal. Different operations or interactions on the blockchain require different amounts of gas. To explain, let's use an analogy of trucks to make this easier. Three trucks carrying different amounts of weight will require different amounts of gas to complete the same trip. An empty truck requires 10 gallons of gas to perform a 100 mile trip. The same truck carrying weight as mid capacity will now require 15 gallons of gas to perform the 100 mile trip. And the same truck at its max capacity will require 20 gallons of gas to perform a 100 mile trip. So in this case, the heavier the truck, the more gas is required to travel the same distance. Now, switching back to blockchain technology, the cheapest transaction that can be executed on Ethereum blockchain is the transfer of Ethereum. You can think of this as the low weight truck. Sending one Ethereum from one wallet to another requires 21,000 units of gas for the transaction to be executed. Sending one Ethereum worth of DAI, another token, requires 65,000 units of gas as DAI is not a native token in the blockchain, but a custom token under ERC-20 standard. You can think of this as more of the medium-sized truck. The transfer of a non-fungible token, like a domain you believe, is also worth one Ethereum, may cost 86,000 units of gas or more, depending on all the information configurations the domain is being transferred with. So as you can see in this example, the heavier the transaction, the more gas required. In the case of the truck example, you typically pay the gas in dollars and the price per gallon depends on the demand and supply of gas at the moment you are purchasing it. In the Ethereum blockchain, gas is not purchased in dollars, but in GUI. And depending on the demand supply at the moment you're performing your transaction, the price in GUI for the amount of gas required to execute your transaction in the blockchain may vary. Since the only unit of value valid in the blockchain is Ethereum, you need to first pay those transactions in Ethereum instead of dollars or any other currency. Therefore, when executing transactions on Ethereum blockchain, to calculate the amount of dollars you need to spend will depend on the amount of gas needed to execute the transaction, the price of GUI, and the price of Ethereum in dollars at the moment you're performing the transaction. You can find current estimates of gas prices in GUI in websites like Etherscan or GasNow, but bear in mind that the amount of dollars displayed in those websites is just the calculation for the simplest transaction that can be executed in the blockchain, which is the transfer of Ethereum. More complex transfers may cost more. We hope you find this information useful and that you have learned something new today to make your unstoppable journey unstoppable.